do find icons are a wonderful way of spreading the word of God. If you go abroad to places like Greece, everybody has them hanging in the cars, in the coaches, in shops, and obviously in the churches. Marcella's love of icons has inspired her to learn how to paint them. It takes a long time to settle down. It might be an hour or two hours. And it's just very peaceful. I put on my beautiful music. And I find it very um, soothing. And an icon is more than just a work of art. It's steeped in symbolism. The icon represents God's creation. First of all, we use everything from nature. The wood is used to represent the ark. And then we put on a cloth, which represents the shroud. And then put on layers of gesso, which is ground rock. And then we make the paint, it's called a pigment, using the yolk of an egg. There's a special way of preparing that, and you can add water and a little wine or vodka, or, you know, depending which part of the world you are in, it's, it acts as a preservative. So everything is taken from nature, painted an icon, and then this is for the glorification of God. Choosing which icon to paint is not an easy decision. And the designs, particularly when you're starting, are taken from traditional patterns. So we use a lot of Byzantine. There are many types, because some come from Egypt and Russia and Greece. When you're a beginner, as I am, although I've been doing it for 10 years, <laughs> there's a lot to learn. It's changed me. I never felt I was very good at praying, but for me now, it is a prayer. An icon doesn't have any perspective. There are no shadows. We're like looking into heaven, really. This is not an earthly thing. And I think with prayer, and especially when you see them in churches with the candles and the music, um, it's taking us off our earthly plane, really. Singers from all over Stratford raising the roof here at Holy Trinity Church where Shakespeare was baptised and buried and worshipped with his parents. 
and today writers are still being inspired by Stratford, including our very own modern day poet, David Rayburn. I was always, when I studied and even at school before that, fascinated by Shakespeare, the way he was able to encompass the whole world in his works and the way it attracted so many people and different people found different answers and different questions in what he'd written and it is just beautiful. So I came to Stratford and made friends here and, and it became my base, my home. David's latest project is a modern day sonnet inspired by the 2012 Olympics. I was thinking about what a wonderful opportunity it is for people to think about the world coming together in the most literal sense. And we do it. We do it for the Olympics. We welcome the world here. The countries come together not to fight and to argue, but to honor each other and to be friends in peace and love. And I wrote this song about that inspired by the Olympics. And the song goes on to say, as well as being strong, as well as being hopeful, as well as the joy, why can't we do this all the time? 